Hello, my name is Brayton Oski. And I'm Austin Morales, and you're listening to and watching The Inner Gamer On. That's right. And today we'll be talking about a Pikmin AR game is being developed by Niantic, the studio that brought you Pokemon Go. And we haven't played Pikmin, but we have some special guests who have played Pikmin, and we are here to talk about that and more. Let's dive on in. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, and bang that bell, because YouTube requires a lot from the viewers. We're sorry. We didn't want this, but this is how it is. So, thanks. But they're making a Pikmin game in AR, and that's their next big project that they're working through. And there's not much to be said about, like, you know, release date or anything of that nature, but they say, quote, the app will include gameplay activities to encourage walking and make walking more delightful. So I'm uh, I'm interested to, to see that. Uh, but I've never played Pikmin before. Um, I know y'all have touched on some Pikmin. So how do y'all feel about hmm. this new update potentially yeah, let's coming Let's get Shay out? in here while he, while he has internet. <laughs> What do you think about the Pikmin, Shay? Let's see. Let's hope. Let's hope. Fingers crossed here. Um, yeah, I played I played the original Pikmin on the Wii. And in theory, it sounds interesting. I don't know how that's going to work in practice. Like Pokemon Go worked simply because you're trying to catch Pokemon. But with Pikmin, you're trying to solve puzzles and escape planets. So I'm not sure how that's going to work as an AR game. Biggest question, I think. My hope is that it's kind of like I'm walking down the street and I can like find Pikmin on the ground to pluck or something. And then my, my main assumption would like I'm trying to think of how this would work. And in, in a perfect space to me, it would be like, oh, now I'm finding this like monster I can fight or like this little ship or pod. I can have my Pikmin repair to get like points or rewards or something and then send them all in their little pod. And then the, the Pikmin live in my phone. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it all sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious because there's not a lot of opportunity for collectible, like a Pokemon game. You know, you want to collect every Pokemon. You want to collect all the shinies. And the only reason why I'm comparing it to that is because it's the same company. But with Pikmin, like there are five color types, if I'm remembering correctly. As More than that by Pikmin, to Pikmin 3. Three at this point. But, so, uh, hats maybe give the Pikmin hats. Yeah, it seems to work in other video games. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just give them a whole cosmetic suite of That's outfits. What I've heard. You know, like you got hats. Give them clothes. Do you like Fall Guys? You know, where you have like a top, a bottom, a hat thing going on. You got yeah, all yeah. the things for your little character. Um, <clears throat> maybe be cool that you know you're walking and then you turn. You could turn your phone around and see all the Pikmin running behind you. Yeah. Oh, that'd be neat. Yeah. yeah that'd, that'd be cute. Selfies that'd be with cute. them. Yeah. Be like, yeah. Well, that they're. <laughs> Cool that they're trying to develop more games to get people out and, and I think this game would have probably been better serviced having having the foresight that there's going to be a pandemic with the past year having it <laughs> drop then would have been right probably yeah. better for it but didn't that but, dragon quest one in japan do really well because of that too i don't know probably I dude i see people playing those freaking games all the time which game? Uh, one of my former coworkers. Is a dragon? Oh, uh, just like any of the walking sim mm-hmm. game. Yeah, dragon. Yeah, yeah. I people bought in Japan just to play, and I st- I see people every day like loaded up at Poke Stops or other various areas playing those games. So Man, huge I saw, here. I think there was an article. It might have been Kotaku. I don't know, but there was like this guy who has this bike, and he has like. 20 oh, phones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the phone. hell? <laughs> you, you guys just reminded me. I'm curious if this was just a New York thing or if it was, uh, or if you guys had heard anything about this. There was like a, during Pokemon Go's heyday, there was like a brash of muggings where yeah. like dudes would go to like secluded Pokestops and drop lures and then like yeah. rob yeah. the people that showed up. Oh, my God. Yes, I remember that. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, it was getting real out there. <laughs> So I just want Pokemon. <laughs> now give me your money. Yeah, it's like they should. You know what would have made it better if they all wore uh, Team, Team Rocket. Rocket. Team Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so I'm Jesse. I'm James, <laughs> and I'm taking your car today. 
Like, get out before we shoot you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Nobody oh. dies in the Pokemon universe. Yeah. <laughs> Alternative uh, universe, I guess. Right. Explain Viridian City then. <laughs> Lavender Town, rather, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That would be a, that would be really funny. Not not actually that wouldn't be funny. Yeah, sorry, no, that would be, be a bad thing. That's the part with the armed robbery. <laughs> funny about the team rocket dress up but not the yeah, actual yeah. crime that's being committed. Yeah. <laughs> oh man oh, good stuff cool so Pikmin coming soon to a phone near you let's see if it gets us back outside walking again unlike the Harry Potter game that didn't get me going as much as I thought it would so one last thing they don't have mouths but you think they'll wear masks in the game ah oh, that's a good question I think Alamar will mm. interesting yeah Never know. Anyway, that was my little bit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your contribution, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> um, 